What's up everybody and welcome to yet another exciting episode of Comics Post. Today is Tuesday the 30th of July and it's so good to be back here to give you all the fresh news on all things African pop culture, animation and so on. We're gonna get into the biggest African news special of the season and of course this is our season finale and I can't wait to get into it. So without any further ado, let's get cracking. In our first spot, we're going to be talking about an amazing animation festival taking place right now. As a matter of fact, it started on the 27th of July and will be running until the 2nd of August. I am talking about the Accra Animation and Film Festival. This is an amazing event which is called upon partners from all over the world. I'm talking about Annecy Film Festival, Amsterdam Film Festival, some of the biggest bloggers and news outlets for African animation and pop culture. They're including Squid Mac, uh, Animation Dingle and many others. This is absolutely exhilarating as we're going to see not just comic book stuff, but a lot of international and regional animations being screened, a lot of discussions and of course masterclasses from the best in the world. So do check out the, animation, the Accra Animation and Film Festival website. Uh, the links are in the description below and you can see some of the highlights that are probably appearing on screen right now. It is taking place in Accra but we have players from all over Africa and uh, all over the world as you can see from the partners. So do check it out uh, and we'll be talking more about some of the participants in our next segment. So you know this segment to be our usual comic book feature or artist feature segment but from time to time we like to feature an African animation studio. This week we're going to be looking at Magic Carpet Studio from Lagos, Nigeria. So this is an amazing studio guys and they've got a range of diverse skills from 2D traditional animation, 3D animation, motion graphics, you name it, they do it. Outside of just creating in-house production, they're very active in training and, and hosting masterclasses that you can sign up on using Instagram or any social network. So Magic Carpet Studios is really, really big and right now I think they're an unsung hero coming out of Lagos, Nigeria. You might know one of their biggest productions which is called Meet the Egress. Uh, this is an animated series which focuses on a Nigerian family. It's very satirical, very comical, very funny. You're probably seeing screenshots and clips from it right now. One of their biggest productions right now, which is being featured at the Accra Animation and Film Festival, is based on Cyprian Ekwenzi's classic novel, The Passport of Malam Ilia. This is a big book, a big, big success. And uh, right now, they've actually been working on a feature length production, which is going to come out soon. Meet the Igwes is screening right now in Accra, Ghana at the Animation Fest Festival. So if you're there, make sure to catch it. Yeah, you know we wouldn't leave you without any international news at all. So we're gonna build up on San Diego Comic Con and what actually didn't happen there. That's right, what didn't happen there. Warner Brothers. If you were paying close attention, you'd have noticed that Warner Brothers didn't actually present anything in whole age. While Marvel was, you know, giving all these flamboyant and extravagant announcements of their upcoming Phase 4, Warner Brothers was nowhere in sight. But they weren't cowering and hiding in silence as most people believe because Cosmic Comics, uh, a very, very popular uh, news outlet for comic books, brought out a new rumor, it's still considered a rumor though they penned this pretty well detailed. It's news on J.J. Abrams. If you know him, or if you don't know him, he's the director behind Star Trek and all, well, nearly all the Star Wars remakes that have taken place in the past seven years. So, what's going on between Warner Brothers and J.J. Abrams, you ask? Well, rumor has it, the studio has won a bidding war for all the material coming out of J.J. Abrams' Bad Robot Studios for the next 10 years. Not only will they get dibs on all his series and all the movies that he'll be pre uh, producing, but they might actually be getting him as their main director for Superman and the Green Lantern. This is mind-blowing. Considering that the Batman is already going through a reboot with Matt Reeves and Robert Pattinson as, you know, the titular role of the Batman, this means the Man of Steel and the Green Lantern will be recast as younger versions, so we might not see Henry Cavill as Superman for more than one more film 
for which his contract is still covering. So that's really, really, really interesting news from the West. Do check out more in the description below from the links. And uh, yeah, leave a comment and tell us what you think. Video games, video games, video games. Where would we be without video games? Um, Blizzard is one of the biggest game companies and Overwatch is one of the biggest and most popular multiplayer battle arena mega shooter games that's out there right now. Uh, this game hadn't seen a major update in a while and though they have been routinely and regularly releasing new champions or heroes for the game, they hadn't done so in a while. So it was pretty surprising when they released Sigma, their latest hero in the game. And uh, he's really out of the ordinary. He's this insane guy who switches between two different forms. Mad scientist, if you will. And um, that's pretty cool. Good on you. Except, you know, the internet tends to fixate on the small things. But in this case, they're fixating on the big things. His feet. He's barefoot and his feet are huge. Well, I guess that's for Overwatch fans to debate about. We're more interested in something else that Blizzard released this past week which is really really relevant to us Africans. Heroes of the Storm, a game that Blizzard had told us they were no longer going to support and they weren't going to update into the future, has actually seen an update and a new hero being released. This hero's name is Kira and she's a person of color and she's actually a, a very dynamic melee assassin character that you'll be able to play on this free-to-play Blizzard game. Not only is she a new champion, she's not from any of the other Blizzard franchises like Star StarCraft or Warcraft or Overwatch or any of the other games that make up Heroes of the Storm. This is a character that they developed to exist and come from the Nexus itself. So if you're interested in following up more POC characters, this is one of the most recent ones and good on you Blizzard for continuing to explore diversity in your games. Well, it's been an exciting season and thank you to all of you guys who have liked and followed and watched every episode thus far. But this isn't the end of the Com Exposed show run. If anything, we're just going to keep getting stronger. Uh, shout out to Tino who couldn't be here to, with me today. He's out in South Africa. Uh, but if you want to catch up with us and follow all of our activities as we take a break, do follow us on Twitter. Instagram, Facebook under the same handle ComExposed and you can also check us out on our website that's www.comexposed.com So until the next season remember believe in yourself